Your living room door is closed, not locked. You will have a green light on the keypad and enter. Enter code. Bloop. Next, you'll have 60 seconds to the park. That's what four bedroom vouchers, dude. You should be able to get 11 hundo, okay? 1950, folks, is what the market rent on Section 8 uh, vouchers should pay you, right? He, he, he made it seem like 60 seconds wasn't that long, but that's like... It's an eternity. It's a, forever, dude. I'm running a code, like... What I had, like 45 seconds to spare? Yeah, probably 50, maybe. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Cleveland, y'all. The rents are high. The cost of housing is low. Check this one out. 1088. East 141st Street, right? Cleveland, 44110. Now, this one, coming to you guys, $64,900, right? We have uh, two unique units here, right? Both of these units have kind of a unique situation going on, okay? Uh, the first unique situation is going to be the occupied unit. Now, this unit would normally rent for about eight seventy-five dollars a month, and in this particular neighborhood, you're going to want to go Section 8. This is one of those neighborhoods, folks, where consistently collecting rent, it, it could be difficult if it's not on some type of government voucher, right? You need that government subsidy uh, to level out the risk of your investment and to allow you to consistently collect rent, right? So going forward, uh, you're going to want to put tenants on Section 8, and Section 8 will pay about $8.75 for this. Your current tenant is a long, long-term tenant, okay? Pays $5.35 a month. It is way undervalued, uh, but uh, this uniqueness to this tenant is, if you have not yet noticed, they are, uh, you know, a hoarder, right? They are essentially a hoarder. You have a low-key hoarder situation. Have I seen hoarder situations that are much worse than this? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead and link uh, several out of control hoarder situations that my team and I have personally dealt with so you guys can see how bad they can get, right? So if you're new to real estate investment, you're new to Holton Wise TV, uh, you're new to motherfuckers being hoarders, this might seem like some crazy hoarder situation, but if you actually watch that other footage, you'll see that this is like a low-key hoarder situation, right? This is like diet hoarding, okay? Just like diet Mountain Dew, Kind of tastes like regular Mountain Dew, but doesn't have a lot of the calories. It's kind of like that, all right? That's where we're sitting with this one. So what you could do is allow this tenant to continue to stay there, but if you do raise their rent to market rent, eight seventy five, dollars I'd say there's a fairly decent chance they'd probably move out. And at that point, you're probably going to spend a decent chunk of money renovating their unit. Again, I would refer you to the other hoarder videos we've put out there. We've actually put out videos uh, where my team is evicting hoarders, going through cleaning out hoarder units, and we actually show you guys how much that stuff costs, right? So it's a pretty big, long process uh, to remove all of that stuff, right? So with that particular tenant, I don't think you want to be in a hurry to turn that unit over. Now, as we go to the other unit that's also got a unique story, right? The upstairs unit. What's unique here is it is a two-floor unit, okay? Not one, but two floors, folks. You get the entire second and third floor, thus making this a four-bed, one-bath unit, and Section 8 pays freaking bank when you get tenants with four bedroom vouchers, dude. You should be able to get 11 hundo, okay? 1950, folks, is what the market rent on Section 8 uh, vouchers should pay you, right? Section 8 tenant base should get you almost $2,000 a month for the $64,900 investment. That is why folks from all over the country, all over the world, flock to Holton Wise TV because Cleveland is one of the markets we serve and Cleveland has price to rent ratios that are off the charts. Now, of course, this other unit, as you can tell, is not totally rent ready. It looks like the particular seller began a major rent ready renovation. It looks like they painted everything with they went with the new style, which is very in right now, folks. The white on white on white. That is big. Uh, if you guys remember about 10 years ago, 
the color scheme that was big, that was like builder grade or rental property grade, everybody was doing like that cream color with white trim, white ceilings, right? That lasted for like five years. Then it was the grays with white trim, white ceilings. Now what's coming in is the white on white on white, okay? And uh, this person looks like they went and they painted everything white, but there's no kitchen as you can see. So you need to install a kitchen. I highly recommend using like Home Depot, Lowe's quality products, right? As a matter of fact, if you guys noticed at the beginning of this video, and it probably popped up a couple times during the course of this video, there's a little icon in the corner that said uh, view products, right? And it's probably under the video too, right? If you're watching your Holton Wise TV on YouTube, at least it is. If you're watching this on like Twitter or TikTok or what's the other one, John? What is it? Yeah. Threads. All right. There's a new media platform. That was whose? It was Zuckerberg's. My guy Zuck, he's like, yo, Elon, fuck you, bro. I got my own fucking Twitter, even though I got my own Instagram and my own Facebook. But anyway, I don't know what platform you're watching this on. There's like a bunch of them, okay? Every day, John comes to me and he's like, yo, did you sign up for the new platform? And I'm like, there's a new one? Holy crap. How many different platforms can you guys send dick pics to people on? Come on! No, but seriously, I don't know what platform you're watching it on. Uh, but I do know if you are watching this on the YouTube platform, uh, I will be be able to link all the products to you right so i'll hook you guys up uh with links uh i'll get you the paints the kind of paints you're going to want to use for your units i'll get you links to the type of kitchen you're going to build right i'll actually put on their stock product from like home depot and lowe's places like that right you don't gotta go like custom cabinetry or anything like that, right? Off-the-shelf cabinetry is going to work for properties like this. You're not going quartz. You're not going granite. We'll get you the countertops you're going to need, the types of sinks you're going to need, right? Essentially, I will show you uh, right there from the big box stores the products that you're going to need to put this unit back together, right? So they did the painting for you, but we'll give you links to all the paint because... The name of the game is uh, definitely buying more than one rental property. Plus, you might be watching this show right now, and you might not have properties in Cleveland. You're just looking for education. So we're going to hook you guys up with stuff that's going to work in all the markets, right? We hook you guys up with the products uh, that are going to appeal to the masses. They're going to be cost effective, right? This is like a shopping list built for you by landlords. And the shopping list built for you buy landlords from stores like Home Depot and Lowe's that are going to work in Cleveland. Well, guess what? They're going to work in Toledo. It's going to work in Columbus. It's going to work in Cincinnati. It's going to work in Indianapolis. It's going to work in Memphis. It's going to work in Baltimore, right? All of the rental property markets, uh, the Section 8 type markets, the cash flow markets, guys, these are the types of products and services that you guys can be using in your own portfolio, right? So we'll link all that right there for you. And again, if you're on any of those other platforms, Twitter, TikTok, blah, 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 threads, as John told me, uh, I guess you're just going to have to go to Holton Wise TV on YouTube to, to click the products because like, I don't think those particular platforms allow for that just yet uh but i know that we do have all that stuff uh through our youtube channel okay holton wise tv on youtube so that's how you guys are going to get that right uh as for this property itself uh if before you guys want to make an offer you want to tour it yourself and physically get in there uh with your your contractor and see exactly how much it's going to be to rehab this unit for you personally that's totally cool with us man shoot us an email sales at holtonwise.com we will get you or your contractor in there so you can see exactly how much it's going to be to put this thing together but folks when you do put it together 875 section 8 out of one unit 1100 section 8 out of the other unit a 64,900 purchase price folks this is why cleveland is the number one cash flow market for investors from all over so if you want to make an offer on the property send that to the same email address sales at holtonwise.com if you want to pay cash awesome include your proof of funds Be like yo james 1088 East 141st, I want to offer 64.9. Here's a screenshot of my bank account. Let's rock and roll. If you want to finance it, normally, depending on the condition of the property, folks, I would say that's probably fine, probably not going to be a problem. As a matter of fact, if you want to finance it and you need a lender uh, to help you, I could do that too. And uh, just send an email to sales at holdenwise.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. And these are lenders that are going to work for you in Cleveland, but they're also going to work for you in all those other markets I mentioned, right? Cincinnati, Columbus, anywhere really. Memphis, Detroit. You guys want to buy rentals. I have lenders that will loan to investors like you in all 50 states. This property specifically 
at this moment in time, though, is probably going to need to be a cash offer, though, because the second unit is not currently livable because we don't have a kitchen in there. So the bank's probably not going to want to finance this asset for you from the acquisition standpoint. However, I can still hook you up with lenders who will then be able to give you a cash out refinance after you put it all together. After you buy those Lowe's Home Depot quality products and stuff like that, uh, you pick that kind of stuff up. And you don't have to buy those products, guys. I'm just telling you, those are like the products uh, that Holton Wise, that's usually where we get our supplies from, right? We're usually getting our supplies from a lot of the same places you guys are getting them from. We're getting them from places like Lowe's. We're getting them from places like Home Depot. Uh, but there's like all kinds of other ones, right? You got like Build.com is out there. They're offering you guys stuff like, you know, depending, you know, like Menards. I mean, there's like a whole bunch of different different stores guys i'm just letting you know uh that like your normal big box store products those are like the level of product you need right like the flooring we're going to do some vinyl allure flooring that's a great product for like this asset quality you're not going into these sixty-five thousand dollar duplexes and laying custom travertine tiles around the place right you're not tiling showers dude you're going with like the one piecers that you can get at the local big box store right so don't have to be home depot don't have to be Lowe's, guys i'm just trying to give you uh, a wide example of places that i know that are going to be available to you no matter what market you're watching me from right uh so anywho with all that said cash offers on this one till you put together the rehab after you do your rehab you'll probably be able to turn this into a bird deal buy renovate rent refinance repeat and i got lenders that'll help you do that so to get my lenders uh to make an offer to get an appointment to go into the vacant units we're not gonna be able to get you into the hoarders unit uh you'll be able to do your contract contingent on inspection, and we'll get you in at that time, but we're not going to be bothering that woman every time somebody wants to go in there uh, and, and look around, right? You need to have skin in the game before we're going to bother that lady. Uh, but the vacant unit, anytime you need, guys. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Cool beans. All right. Good. Fuck, it's hot up here. What? I hate that. <laughs> I'm not fed up anymore. Alright. Technically, there should be handrails here. This will never pass the section of construction. Alright, now we'll just uh, bullshit so walk around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Break someone's success on accident. Anything good? Vice Coast? He, she's fire songs. Who? He, she's fire songs? Endangered species fire songs. Hell yeah, dude. Five of them. Sexy girl. All right, well, I got the instructions for whenever you guys are ready to go. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I did both units, so. I don't think we're reactivating the alarm. Yeah. No. Remember, when you're ready to leave, make sure the living room, do living room door is closed and all locked. You'll have a green light on the keypad and Enter code. Bloop. Next, you'll have 60 seconds to depart. Pull the living room door closed. That's what I'm saying, we're not activating the thing though, because the thing only works, it doesn't affect the lower unit. Oh yeah, we're putting the alarm back on now. Yeah. You sure? You, oh yeah, to reactivate the, okay. Oh, okay, so well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Apparently. Don't wait for me on the porch. Uh, downstairs porch? Yeah. So, hang on, let me... Oh no, no, don't do it yet. I know. He's gonna lock that back door. Uh, Alright. Because this, I think it kind of gauges. Layout or something. It says I have to close this, but that I don't want to. Yeah. You're setting up for the lockout. Yeah, I'm gonna set that right now. So you go down there. I'm gonna set it, and I'll see you on the porch. Okay. Take, take your silly asses down. Can we grab your drill and shit? It's up to you. You grab it and pull. Cool. Okay. I got it. Why would you shut that door? He said it's got to be shut to activate the... Oh, well then I should use mine with this. Yeah. Mind your PPQs. Uh, mind my Qs and my Ps. What kind of path do you think that is? I see it through yes. the thing. Yeah, you think that's a deer path or a crack path? Definitely a crack path. Lots of cracking small things <laughs> on the brush over there. The trees. I wonder if you can pick it up on the camera. I want to get... Kind of. 
stopped raining, so I think I'll get the drone up like right where you're standing and a little behind you. Yeah, for sure. He, he he made it seem like 60 seconds wasn't that long, but that's like... That's an eternity. It's a, a forever, dude. I'm running a code, like... What I had, like 45 seconds to spare? Yeah, it's probably 50 maybe. I was expecting the thing to say something though. Yeah, you like, I put in the code and I was waiting for a countdown. I was staring at it for like five seconds. It's like, well, I guess I should just leave. Our real lives are like. If Grand Theft Auto had not as much crime, that's basically a day in the life of a property manager. It's just a lot of interactions, positive and negative. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, Nate Thompson? It kind of looked like right? him, dude. I thought the same thing. I've only seen the dude like twice. Like, first of all, shouldn't he be out working right now? Doesn't he have folks to evict? It strikes me as like. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.